Hello and welcome to my brief explanation about what micronutrients, uh, by which I mean minerals and vitamins mostly, what they are doing in our brains every minute that our heart is beating. So I'm going to begin with a little explanation about brain metabolism. Metabolism is just a, a word that means the transformation of one chemical to another. And most metabolic steps are enzymatic, meaning an enzyme is responsible for converting chemical A to chemical B in this slide. But what you may not know is that enzymes do that work if they have an abundant supply of cofactors, and those rest upon minerals and vitamins. And only then do you have an optimal transformation of chemical A to chemical B. I'm going to show you how this works by showing you a little bit about the tryptophan metabolism pathway. It's a tiny little portion of it and the conversion to serotonin. You might wonder, how do we get serotonin? We cannot eat serotonin. It is not in our food. What we can eat are the cofactors which enable our very clever little brains to convert all the uh, chemicals that they need to convert to synthesize serotonin. So the only reason that tryptophan, serotonin, and melatonin are in red is because they're words that most people recognize. Let's ask the question, what every arrow requires? In other words, what every enzymatic transformation requires in the way of micronutrients? So in this step, converting tryptophan to 5-hydroxy L-tryptophan, you need iron, phosphorus, and calcium. Up here, you need vitamin B6. You don't need to worry about what the names of these chemicals are. B6, riboflavin, and iron. Over here, you need more vitamin B6. Here, you need two B vitamins and a trace mineral called molybdenum. And uh, so it goes. Every single step is dependent upon an abundant supply of minerals and vitamins from things that you recognize, like calcium, to things that you've probably never heard of before, like molybdenum. Thanks to my colleague, Dr. Jenny Johnstone at Oregon Health and Science University, I, I'm able to show you um, a little tiny piece of the dopamine pathway. We don't want you to think that what I just showed you about metabolism is specific to serotonin. It is not. It's going on in your brain to help your brain do its work all the time for every chemical. So in this particular pathway, she drew hers in a circular form. Um, in order to get from one step to the other, you need three micronutrients there. Here you need five. And you'll, as I click on these, you'll recognize what most of these are. You might not know all the abbreviations. Mg is magnesium, vitamin C and copper, and so forth. So the lesson is the same, that in order to get through step by step with the proper optimal enzymatic reaction, you need on board a lot of micronutrients. Now this is a factoid that interests a lot of people, um, it kind of grabs them. Our brain is only about 2% of our body weight. It's very, very small. You can hold a human brain just in your hand. And each of us has four to six liters of blood inside of us. But a whole liter, in other words, almost a quarter of our blood supply is passing through this tiny little organ called the brain every single minute. It's doing other things besides carrying micronutrients. It's bringing oxygen, it's taking away waste products, etc. But certainly it is bringing the micronutrients that are needed for brain metabolism. It's bringing what our brain needs to synthesize neurotransmitters. So that's every 60 seconds that your heart is beating. I'm going to leave you with two things. First of all, I don't want you to think that um, by talking about nutrients as cofactors, we've covered everything that nutrients do in the brain. There's a lot more to learn and I give you a reference on this slide. And also we talk about it in chapter two of our book, The Better Brain, written by myself and Dr. Julia Rutledge. You can find me on my website and you can email me through the contact tab. Um, and I'm hoping that some of you out there are having the kind of aha moment that I have learned usually results when people see those metabolic pathways. I've had countless people come up to me and say, Bonnie, I finally get it. Now I understand not just how I should eat, but why I should pay attention to what I'm putting into my mouth. 
Thank you for your attention.